all of you know I did a padyatra. I mean, my padyatra, I had a great chance to in interact with farmers across segments. So I met palm oil farmers, paddy farmers, mango farmers, date farmers, banana farmers, uh, mirchi farmers. You know, what was fascinating for me is that they're working hard, they're investing money ahead of time, and they're not sure at the end are they going to make money or not. And they're doing this every crop cycle. So the way I looked at it, I said, you know, there are two parts of this equation. One, we need to reduce the cost of production. Two, how do we grow commodities and variants of our commodities uh, which we can take to the globe? Now, I'll give you an example. I mean, all of us know that Royal Sima is known for mango. But predominantly, we grow varietals that we want. Why can't we grow varietals that the world wants? And varietals that Europe wants, Japan wants, which are also higher value in nature. And that's where I believe that state can play a very important role in guiding farmers. Similarly, our dates is another big area. Banana, dragon fruit, chiku is another area. So I think there's a lot of work that we can do as a government in terms of guiding farmers, giving not just subsidies alone, but inputs uh, and even... Uh, you know, strengthening it with research stations and ensuring that the optimal output uh, and productivity comes from the respective farms. So, for me, that's of great interest and passion. The same thing applies even to, you know, palm oil farmers. You know, if you look at it, thanks to Annagaru, you know, and, uh, Andhra and Telangana, the both, the two Telugu-speaking states have a very important role to play in palm oil and we help government uh, in terms of saving our forex. We have to support them, but we have to be in the smart way. We have import duties and exports uh, subsidies based on the inflation. So how can we have a table making it easy so that government can take appropriate decisions for me is very fascinating. So these are, I think, interventions you'll see at a policy level that will come up. And I truly believe that Rail Sima particularly has a great opportunity to leapfrog in agriculture. It's amazingly fertile soil and just giving water through drip and giving extinction to the appropriate horticulture crop, I think, can truly transform agriculture in that sense. And the last bit I'd like to add is technology plays an important role, more so from government's ability to map which commodity is being grown where and in what quantities and how should government be prepared in terms of sale price hikes or slums, because there are days when tomatoes are highly priced, there are days when tomatoes go for 10 paisa, 50 paisa kg. So I think our government's ability to forecast that, prepare for that, and guide, advise farmers for that, I think will be very uh, important, and that's something that we'll work on this time. Yeah, I think uh, building upon that, uh, you know, given uh, all the work that you have done uh, with the government, I uh, just wanted to understand uh, what is your ultimate uh, goal in politics? Do you want to see yourself at a, a national level or, you know, anything, any role uh, beyond Andhra Pradesh in the coming future? I mean, uh, politics is one great field where you can positively or negatively influence people's lives. You know, being a third generation politician, I see this as a great opportunity to really transform things. There's amazing aspirations at the grassroots level and it's important that we meet those aspirations and deliver. And after that, it is for people to decide where I should be. You know, people of Mangalgiri in 2019 felt that, you know, I had to serve them for five more years before giving me a chance. And when they gave me a chance, it is with a majority that Andhra Pradesh has never seen. So I think people, that's the beauty of the political system. So, you know, we are here, we are here to serve the people, we are here to create amazing policies, attract investments, create jobs, create ecosystems, and then it is for people to decide whether I should be a Gully politician or a Delhi politician.